Hey guys, just wanted to get you a quick update. Um, you may see behind me that uh, my surroundings are a little bit different. Um, unfortunately, I've been trying to get videos out to you guys on a weekly basis. I expect that trend to continue going on. But unfortunately, on one of my last nights in Columbia, I left my phone in a taxi cab. And when I reached out to the taxi cab, basically blackmailed me for more than what my insurance deductible would have been. And I just decided to order a new phone and have it shipped here since I was returning back to the United States. So that was my one bad experience in the total three months that I spent in Columbia. That said, I am back here in the United States. I'm in Ohio. I'm actually using my sister's place for the next month while I prepare for the next trip. Shout out, Emily. And we will be uh, preparing for the next uh, countries that we're going to visit. So just a couple quick updates. In addition to losing my phone, by the way, I lost my beard. Um, but <laughs> quick couple updates. Uh, coming up, we're going to have some videos here in Ohio, including one that I've been wanting to work on for a really long time and a really fun one that I think people are going to enjoy. Um, we are also going to be planning over the course of the next few weeks my next journeys. And so currently, as it stands right now, I'm looking at doing a three country swing. I think we're gonna start off in Kenya in May, and we're gonna spend about a month there. Uh, it'll be my first time in Africa. I'm really excited. It's an English speaking country, so I don't have any language barriers. Um, I'm really excited about this, right? Uh, it's, I read a book about Kenya a long time ago, I've wanted to go for a long time, and I think we're gonna be, have the ability to do that. We're finalizing details now to make sure that this is something that we can do. Um, but if it does indeed come to fruition, I'm really excited about the potential of sharing that with you. Uh, the second plan, as it stands right now, is to go directly from Kenya to Spain. Keep in mind, I've never been to Europe either. I've only ever been to Latin America uh, when I've been out of the United States. So I'm really excited to go to Spain. Uh, I'm planning on Madrid. However, Valencia may be in the cards. Um, it, it just kind of depends on some various moving things, and I'm really excited to... Uh, I've been to Latin America where the Spanish culture is obviously very prevalent, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it all originated from. And lastly, uh, we're going to do a third country. The third country is kind of in the air right now. I'm currently looking at France, uh, Portugal, and the UK. Um, I'm leaning towards Portugal. Uh, it just seems to be a better match right now and I can get back to the United States after that really well and uh, quickly. Um, but yeah, for the next three months, we're gonna have a lot of videos coming from a lot of different and interesting places. So, that said, I wanna do two quick things. Number one, I wanna thank my friends and family here in the United States. Um, my friends and family have been incredibly supportive of what I've been doing. Um, I have friends that have supported me through this journey as I create the videos, uh, helping me reach out to fellow YouTubers and uh, actually <laughs> bringing in fellow viewers, um, which has been just delightful to know that I have that support system here in the United States. Um, they've also been keeping me sane because sometimes, let's be honest, when I was in Colombia, I had the thought, holy shit, what am I doing here? Um, but no, my, my family and my friends have all been really supportive of me. Uh, but the last part and the most important, if you're going to go to Colombia, you can go see all the sites. Everywhere's got sites. Everywhere's got local food that you can eat that's delicious because it's new to you. It's got different costs of living that might increase your ability to explore. You can broaden your horizons, right? But the Colombian people that I have met, I consider myself extremely blessed to have um, met, experienced, interacted with, etc. I have met people who are to me like family. And I am incredibly overwhelmed with gratitude for the experiences that I've had and the time that those people have taken out with me. Um, specifically, for people watching, I want to shout out Kelly. Uh, I want to shout out Kelly. I want to shout out Freddie, Francie. I want to shout out all the guys at Punta Verde. 
Um, my friend and brother, my little Colombian brother, the, this little brother I never had, Felipe, Helen, his girlfriend, who were incredibly helpful to me in Bogota. Um, these were just people who went out of their way to make sure that I could do what I wanted to do, communicate the stories and show the things I wanted to show. It never made me feel stupid for whipping out a camera and saying, hang on guys, we gotta talk about this real quick. Um, truly, if you ever have the chance um, to experience Colombia, make sure you don't just hang out in the tourist zones, get out in the communities, interact with the people, try to learn Spanish, they'll try to meet you halfway. Uh, it, it's truly a special place and it's helped me grow and one day, Hopefully soon, I, I hope to actually immigrate there. Um, that being said, uh, I wanna thank you guys also for watching. I think we're at 212 subscribers right now. That's great. Um, I'm not asking people to go out and share. If you feel like you wanna share, that's fantastic. If you don't feel like you wanna share, totally get that, it's fine. Thank you for being a, uh, somebody who gets to share in this journey and allow me to show some of the best parts of Colombia and uh, share my experiences. This has been a really fun thing. And as I continue to get better at video editing, I don't know if you guys remember the Florida Keys video, but holy moly, did I not know what I was doing. Um, as I've continued to get better at editing, uh, I hope these videos uh, continue to progress with us. And uh, you know, I'm not doing this for money. Uh, I have a full-time job, I'm doing this for fun and to show people that the world's not a scary place. And I know I'm somebody who takes medication for anxiety. Going somewhere new can be very scary, but it's also a really rewarding experience. So last but not least, thank you, the viewers. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys what I've got cooking up in the works, both here in Ohio and uh, across the world. Talk soon.